All right, so welcome back. This is video number three, and let's talk about starting on the right foot. So you learned in the previous video that you can't jump on Instagram and just sell, sell, and sell. You can't do any type of direct selling. Um, selling is in a different way. It's a very indirect selling, and I'll talk more about that in just a minute. And this is why most people fail. That's what they do. They jump on Instagram, assuming it's Facebook, and they can't figure out why they're not making sales, all right, or why they're not getting fans. So let's make sure that you start out on the right foot, all right? So the secret here is to build a brand or a lifestyle. So if you think about what I talked about earlier in the previous video, I said that people go to Instagram because they want to know more about a brand. Maybe they discovered the brand or the lifestyle in Facebook, but then they want to go to Instagram and they want to learn more. So this is where they follow uh, people and you'll see lifestyle wise, they'll post pictures of themselves. They'll post pictures of their life in relation to what they do just to basically build a personal relationship. So, Think about Facebook as, okay, I discovered you and I am more part of a community, but Instagram is like, okay, I get to see more about what's happening in your life, not just about related to what we're interested in, both of us, like shared interest wise, but I get to see what's in your life, what's happening, uh, what the good, the bad. So you're basically building a relationship. So the end of goal for you should be to become an influencer, which means, you know, a brand that will have real influence on people's decisions. So you can influence people by the pictures that you post, basically. And people are waiting for that kind of stuff. They want ideas, they want inspiration, they want quotes. So you'll notice a lot of quotes are on Instagram. You'll notice some quotes on Facebook as well. But you'll notice a good amount on Instagram and you'll notice a lot of uh, those type of images. So everything from about what to wear, what to buy, where to shop, what to do, and where to go. So you see what I'm saying here? It's a lifestyle mentality. You know, society has changed so drastically that back in the day, you could just say, go buy this. And they would go buy that. They would take your word for it. But now they want to see that you're genuine, that you're a real person that they can actually deal with. So uh, before you can sell, they need to get, you know, to know you and you need to get people to follow you, of course. Right. So you need to build a following before you can actually sell. So, like I said, in our society nowadays, people want to know you. They have discovered you on Facebook and they want to hear all about your lives, your drama, everything. Um, so now you got to pick and choose what you post. So let me give you an example here. Let's say that you are a scuba diver. All right. So on your Instagram profile, you would show a typical day as a scuba diver. So, you know, things you do, happy times, sad times, uh, things you run into problems you run into as a scuba diver, the type of equipment you would buy what tools are great, what tools are not, all that. So why would you want to do that? Well, I mean, if you think about the dollar signs, you think about the profit. As a scuba diver, you could be showcasing tools that you are using. And this could easily translate into, let's say, for example, a Shopify store where you sell scuba equipment. Maybe you can do an AliExpress drop shipping thing where you they buy the product, you ship it from AliExpress, you get a cut of it and you don't even have to actually stock any type of inventory in your Shopify store. So that's something to look forward to from Instagram. People get, you, you get to indirectly sell about things because at the end of the day, people are going to want what you have. They feel, okay, if, if I have the same software tools or if I have the same tools or equipment that you have as a scuba diver, or as whatever you're trying to do as lifestyle or brand, uh, they're more likely to buy it, right? So it can be Shopify store, it can be an affiliate promotion, it can be a sponsor post 
from a scuba gear company, which we'll talk more about later down the road. But before you can do all of that, you need to have a brand. You need to have the ability to create a lifestyle, right? So now let's move on to video number four and let's talk about how to build a brand and how to build a lifestyle and do it all properly.